Good morning, good afternoon. I'm glad to present you part of my work I'm doing between two labs in France, the CRPP and the LCPO, under the supervision of Veronique Schmidt and Valérie Roguez. As a quick introduction about emulsions, uh, you can find them in many applications such as cosmetics, paints, food, or biomedics. And they consist in a mix of two emissible liquids, oil and water mainly. Uh, as metastable systems, uh, surfactants are used to stabilize the interfaces in most cases. But in the last years and decades, an alternative, as known as picking emission stabilizer particles, are more and more uh, studied. They present many advantages, such as a lower toxicity, a greater stability over time, and also the possibility to better control the size of uh, the droplets. So, uh, also, there are the uh, another uh, topic of interest, which is the, the uh, stimuli responsive uh, nanoparticles. So uh, here you can stabilize an oil with a pickering emission, and when applying uh, a stimulus, which can be a pH or magnetic field of carpenter, you induce the uh, desorption of these nanoparticles from the interface. And as the droplets are no longer uh, stabilized, they merge together, we say they coalesce, and it ends up with the full macroscopic emission of the, your emulsion. If you encapsulate compounds inside the droplet, you can uh, achieve an on-demand stimuli responsive release which is uh, of high interest for many applications. Despite this subject is uh, more and more studied, there are some issues and challenges to overcome, such as the end life of these nanoparticles, which are uh, released in the outer uh, phase. Do they accumulate or interact with the target? So here lies the uh, objective and uh, motivation of, of our project is to uh, design, uh, design nanoparticles with stimuli responsiveness from biofriendly materials, but also which could be degraded thanks to the stimulus, so that no uh, more uh, nanoparticle um, would uh, stay in the outer phase. So full degradation of the nanoparticles and the stabilization of the emission. To do so, we uh, set up this uh, wall strategy, starting from this one, the hydrophilic polysaccharide, which we modified to bring uh, stimuli responsiveness and bring also hydrophobicity. Thanks to this hydrophobicity, we uh, were able to produce nanoparticles within the nanoprecipitation process. And using these nanoparticles, uh, we were also able to stabilize picking emissions, uh, oil and water, and finally to destabilize them on demand thanks to the uh, stimuli we, we chose. So uh, light, pH, and enzyme. So more specifically about the modification step, uh, in the first case, uh, lower uh, left, we grafted a photosensitive hydrophobic polymer, polynitrobenzyl acrylate. In the second case, we grafted acetals, which uh, uh, bring the uh, pH sensitivity. And finally, uh, we, uh, in the third case, uh, we grafted uh, alkyne chains in such an, uh, in a lower amount, uh, which uh, keeps the enzyme sensitivity properties of uh, dextran. Um, available. So dextranase is known as the uh, enzyme which can cut the links between the glucosidic units and by grafting a low amount of uh, alkyne chain you can uh, keep this uh, uh, interesting property. So with this uh, free modified dextran we uh, produced nanoparticles thanks to the nanoprecipitation step. Uh, in, the, uh, in these three cases you can see that you, we obtained uh, well-defined spherical nanoparticles with uh, sizes range, ranging from 122 to 220 nanometer and a uh, quite low PDI. So then I will describe more specifically the results we obtained with the uh, photosensitive nanoparticles and specifically with the stabilization of the green emission. In these pictures and on the graph, you can see that the higher the amount of nanoparticles, uh, the uh, lower is the size of the droplets we uh, stabilize. This is uh, known as the limited coalescence phenomenon, which is uh, quite studied. And uh, this obtained to obtain in a uh, we particular way, uh, narrow size uh, droplets. But also uh, we observe that uh, these emissions are quite stable as they are stable for more than six months. Then uh, as we uh, grafted this photosensitive uh, hydrophobic polymer, so polynitrobenzyl acrylate. Uh, this photosensitivity uh, can be described as the uh, photolysis of the neutral uh, benzyl group, which produces an acrylic acid unit, but also nitrobenzyl nitrobenzyl 
this uh, change um, uh, leads to a dramatic increase in the hydrophilicity of the whole chain. And at a higher scale, uh, light, we can say that light induces the photolysis of the nanoparticles. So we verify this by studying uh, various parameters, intensity, time, uh, to verify that our nanoparticles can be degraded uh, thanks to uh, UV light. And then uh, we uh, perform some destabilization attempts in the uh, peaking emission system. So we cover one part of the emission and we irradiate uh, the other part. And what we see, uh, what we were able to see after 30 minutes uh, is that the covered area was uh, not um, experienced coalescence event, while the uh, uncovered area uh, showed a higher size in the uh, droplets, uh, which show that a uh, coalescence event uh, occurred. We also uh, performed uh, quite the same experiment, but this time with visible light, uh, which is uh, quite an improvement because uh, initial basal groups are only sensitive to UV. And uh, thanks to uh, this uh, confocal microscope uh, uh, experiments, we were able to localize the irradiation in a specific area and uh, 21 droplets, which are color in blue here, uh, coalesced into two droplets uh, in uh, 100 minutes. So this is a quite a good proof of concept that we can use our system as a reactor in a drop uh, process. And uh, specifically, we can, uh, the locus of irradiation can be even more specific as we can maybe go down to uh, micrometers. Now, moving on the research we've been with the uh, pH sensitive system. Uh, so with these nanoparticles, we stabilize also uh, PQE emission. And we showed that we also uh, have the uh, limited coalescence phenomenon. And we did some destabilization attempts uh, using uh, acidic pH. So the acetal moieties, which are on the dextran chains, can be uh, hydrolyzed. And this, uh, in the um, as uh, with the uh, photosensitive system, leads to the hydrolysis of the nanoparticles. And the particles are degraded so that the droplets of oil can merge together and we can observe a microscopic uh, dimension of the emission within 24 hours, whereas with um, the uh, oversample at a neutral pH, no destabilization occurred uh, after five days. So this system is quite interesting for, uh, because it is biocompatible as the uh, hydrolysis of the nanoparticle produces uh, acetone, ethanol and uh, dextran. And uh, within 24 hours, we are able to fully destabilize the emission. Finally, with the enzyme sensitive system, so still we can stabilize the quick emission and observe the uh, limited coalescence. We were also able to uh, partially destabilize within 60 days uh, an emission, but this can be maybe improved by uh, playing around with the pH and the amount of uh, enzyme we put. Uh, and these uh, emissions are really, really highly stable as they can be stable for more than, more than a year at 37 degrees. Uh, with this system, we were also uh, curious if we were able to encapsulate two different components. So one inside the uh, droplets we stabilize and another inside the uh, stabilizing nanoparticles. So to do so, we at the nanoprecipitation step, we uh, put uh, the, uh, dex the modified dextran and the probe uh, together. And this uh, led to the production of nanoparticles with inside uh, the body P uh, probe. As you can see on the, on the right, uh, these are Z stack of uh, PQ emission droplets with the encapsulation of the red probe inside the nanoparticles, so at the interface, and the blue probe inside uh, the uh, oil droplets. The next step, which is uh, currently um, uh, wor working, is the encapsulation of uh, kinin. Finally, uh, we were able to synthesize uh, stimuli responsive grafted dextran polymers, which are sensitive to uh, uh, light, pH, and uh, enzyme uh, dextranase, uh, to produce narrow sized nanoparticles through the nanoprecipitation process, to stabilize all in water picking emulsion with a high long with a long time stability, but also to be able to uh, destabilize them on demand thanks to uh, light, UV, and uh, visible light pH or enzyme simile with different kinetics, but still with uh, good uh, uh, promising results. Thank you for your attention.